خلافت کا یہ رشتہ جو ہے افراد جماعت سے کروڑوں ہی دلوں کی دھڑکنوں کا رب مسرور انٹرنیشنل ٹیکنیکل کالج ایم آئی ٹی سی A project of the International Association of Ahmadi Architects and Engineers, IAAAE, situated in Ilaru, Ogun State, Nigeria, was officially commissioned on Thursday, November 7, 2024. The event, which was chaired by the Amir, National President of Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat of Nigeria, Al-Haji Abdulaziz Alatuya Sahib, witnessed the presence of dignitaries from all walks of life. The official commissioning was done by the governor of Ogun State, Prince Dagwa Biodun, who was represented by the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology in Ogun State, Ajia Miriam Oloko. I want to encourage all this afternoon that you please continue to sensitize our parents, continue to sensitize the guidance through the religious houses. Fortunately, we have the imams here. And the chairman has told us this afternoon that this college is not meant for the Muslims only, that they are going to admit non-Muslims. It means that those of us within the Ilaro community and outside the Ilaro community, Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat has brought gold to our doorstep. The chairman of IAAAE, European chapter, Akram Ahmedi Sahib, who led a four-member delegation from the United Kingdom, conveyed to the gathering the goodwill message of His Holiness, Adrat Khalifa to Masir, the fifth. May Allah be his helper and his dream for the continent of Africa. So, first of all, I cannot uh, forget our Imam, Hazrat Amirul Mu'mineen, Khalifa to Masir, the fifth, who was the inspiration for this project. He is the one who has guided us and pushed us to make sure we fulfill this very animal and enviable project. You know, amongst Africans, especially Nigerians, they are, and uh, as you know, we are an engineers and architects working in Europe. I have got many Nigerian Ahmadis and uh, Nigerian personnel who are architects and engineers in Europe. But I always also felt that there was a lack of expertise in, the, uh, in trying to get excellent workmanship. So it gives me great pleasure that we have opened up this college because through this we hope that we will get excellent technicians. The Amir Sahib, in his address, emphasized the importance of ethical dealings in today's society. He called on able members of the public to support youths to acquire skills in the institution, adding that the institution is open to all, irrespective of gender, religion or race. My gratitude goes to Almighty Allah first who has given us the opportunity to start MITC, you know, in Nigeria. You will read it undisputedly, different percentages. They will tell us that 80% of Nigerian graduates are not employable. Why? Because they have no skills. Significantly what we've learned in various higher institutions, universities, polytechnics are theories. So we have higher level of unemployment in our system. This unemployment has catalyst of other challenges, including family challenges, including crime. MITC, to my mind, is a blessing from Almighty Allah that now I want to help you because the model of MITC is not what so many of us do understand. Not only economic, sustenance, but of relevance. Other dignitaries at the occasion were representative 
of Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Representative of Deputy Speaker of Ogun State, Representative of Commissioner of Education in Ogun State, Representative of Executive Secretary of National Board for Technical Education, the Rector of Federal Polytechnic Ilaru, Royal Majesty's Government officials and distinguished members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. This was like a dream. We started this journey six years ago uh, with the basic idea and then it uh, took us some time. We trained some people in Burkina Faso and that gave us a lot of encouragement. And one, once we had it, uh, that resolve, we said we, we're not going to stop. We're going to build a college. We came to Nigeria and then, alhamdulillah, uh, two years ago, we put the foundation stone here. And uh, today we see the final result. And I'm really glad that uh, the uh, response we have received from the officials uh, of uh, Ogun State and the National Board of Education is phenomenal. We have six, and that's building, that includes Mansori, tiling, and the uh, plastering. We also have um, electric installation, we have plumbing, work. We also have uh, ICT, that's that divided into two. That's the hardware and networking, as well as uh, the software, which is a web design. I'm delighted in the event of today. Very happy that uh, my dear has gone into technical, establishing a technical college, not just a technical college, technical college with special, which is a skills acquisition. And that is the current something in the world today. We have left other areas, certification and all, so we are now into skills area. Nobody is uh, interested in the BS or PhD or masters that you have, but they want to know the ski area where you can claim to be competent and have dealings with you. It's been a great thing. Uh, the major thing is that we are trying to bring out the youth from the ma or the merry clay of uh, fighting and restiveness and uh, the evils that are in the society. And we're trying to see, and how do we do that? By making sure that they have skills by which they can work and be self-sufficient. Uh, the proverb says uh, that uh, an idle hand is the devil's workshop. When you engage youth and they know what to do, and they know how to go about it. They apply their energy and strength in doing something for themselves and for the society. We all have rest and peace. MITC is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities for technical skills acquisition, with a commitment to empowering the youth and shaping unimaginable progress and brighter future for the people of Nigeria and Africa in general. Sahid Aribi Salah. Reporting for MTA Nigeria Studios.